today, I will discuss the materials used to make CO2 laser machine lenses, as well as the differences between Chinese PVD and American CVD lenses. This is Watson. Let's start. Material. Lenses are made from various materials. The majority are from zinc. Silenite. You can easily spot them by the yellow color and their transparency. They have high thermal resistance due to which they last longer and have good transmission ability. Thanks to all of that, these lessons deliver being without any distortion with minimal optical loss, resulting in high quality cutting and engraving. And those lessons are made from Galleon Isonide. They have silver color and look like a little glass. Their primal advantage is mechanical impact resistance. That's why they are used for more serve jobs, like paranite cutting. Also, they can handle more cleaning circles. However, there is a minus. These lenses have a lower transmission ability, unlike the zinc silenite ones, and their production price is higher. Additionally, the powdery from gallium anosite is toxic, which complicates the manufacturing process. That's the reason why they use less frequently. There are also lenses from Germania, but they have a high absorption rate of the 10.6 micrometers laser lens. They easily heat up and lose their transparency. Due to that, it's hard to find those lessons for CO2 laser cutting or engraving. So, we can claim that the preferred choice for the majority of tasks are zinc silenite set lessons because of their high transparency, thermal resistance, and good price. Further on, we will be talking about them specifically. Production method of zinc silenite lessons, PVD and CVD. If you start choosing a lens, you will see the letters PVD and CVD in the name after the material specification. These are methods of the crystal growing process. PVD stands for physical vapor deposition and CVD for chemical vapor deposition. These two growth methods that determine the quality and the cost of zinc silenite focusing lenses are very different. PVD lenses are cheaper and more ecological in production. However, it has a huge disadvantage. These lenses are usually capable of delivering up to 80 to 90 watts of power, not more. When CVD lenses are able to work with power up to 200 watts, they have higher transmission. Furthermore, CVD results in a more concentrated and precise laser dot at the end. And better that dot is better the cutting and engraving quality is. This is one of the key reasons why leading lens production companies from the USA are choosing a CVD method. Watson machines in their basic configuration have CVD lenses being installed by our engineers in the factory since they are better for cutting, serve longer, and are able to comprehend our machine's power. More information about our equipment you may find on Watson.com. In the next video, we will discuss lens diameter, their forms, and focal distance. Subscribe so you won't miss it. This is Watson. See you!